day one of the 2020 PCR eval course has just gone. The focus on the main arena was put on the aortic valve with two live cases, one Tavi from London Bridge Hospital and a surgical aortic valve replacement from Leipzig Hospital. On the other side, simulation-based learning was focused on the mitral valve with its anatomy, pathology, and imaging. Beside that, we had multiple case-based sessions. We have the privilege of having Professor Lars Sondergaard, one of the PCR eval course director and head of the structural art program at Rick's Hospital in Copenhagen. So Lars, what session did you attend? Yeah, I actually started up early this morning because there's also, how should I say, a breakout session in Chengdu, China, uh, which was starting here. So it's, it's not only in London, it's going on, it's also in, in, in China. And then uh, for, the, for the course in, around London, I was at the main station, uh, main arena here for the live case, a very nice executed live case on a bicuspid valve. Uh, perfect outcome and there was a great discussion around that how to handle this patient to to get good outcomes yeah. next i went to um, the channel three the fundamental learning it was all day about uh, mitral uh, valve intervention using the edge to edge starting out with transeptal puncture moving to edge to edge repair primary mitral regurgitation then secondary mitral regurgitation and then the last episode was on about the challenging anatomy and, and complication. It was somewhere between 120, 125 uh, participants all the time at that meeting. And there was a lot of interaction on the, on the chat. So I think that was really impressive to see the, the interest from, from people who want to learn this technology. So, so that, I think it's been a great day to, to see that. Uh, so many people have, has, uh, have attended uh, the sessions. Yeah, I do agree. Also, the session that I attended were plenty of interaction in between the speakers and the audience. Uh, so Lars, what is the main clinical message that you got from today? Yeah, I mean, it's been uh, mostly uh, around Tavi, of course, in the main arena. And um, what I heard is now to focus on um, the issues which is related to patients with longer life expectancy. So it's not only about having a, a safe procedure and a good uh, short-term outcome, but we have been discussing about uh, how to reduce conduction abnormality, how to ensure commercial alignment for future access to the coronary arteries, how to use a valve with a good durability and so on. So, I think it's been, it's been a shift in, in the way we're thinking about target procedure. It's not, as I said, only about uh, having a safe procedure in the CAT lab, but it's to, to think about the lifetime management of these patients. So, so I think this is a, probably what a lot of focus is going to be on uh, the, the coming years. Okay. So from your perspective, what will be the next big achievement in the trascatheter treatment of aortic stenosis? Yeah, I think uh, uh, everyone is expecting that we're going to move to this patient with, um, with, longer, life expect, uh, with longer life expectancy. Uh, and I think we, we need to, to, to think about the issues I just told you, but we also need to generate evidence that is actually the right move to move to this patient and, and offer TAVI, not, uh, not only surgery. I mean, we've seen a lot of evidence and all kinds of risk profiles, but all the trials has been conducted in elderly patients uh, and I think there's a big difference to, to do a trial in a patient who is mean age 75, 80 years, and then uh, start to treat a patient who is 65, 60 years, maybe even younger. I, I think we need evidence for that. And I hope we're going to see that uh, in the coming years that uh, can justify this expansion. And, and also, the first case we saw in the main arena was on a bicuspid valve. It was a perfect outcome, but again, we need some solid evidence that we, we should treat younger patients who could go for, for surgery at a very low risk uh, with, with transcatheter or valve replacement. Thank you very much for accepting, accepting our invitation for this short chat and uh, looking forward to meet you in the real life in the next future. Thanks, Lydia.